All right, this is number three off of page 37 in Mastering the Tables of Time, and I'm at 61 beats per minute. Per minute? These are tam flaps. Tap flams. Holy cow. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is day 131, and my topic is rhythmic inversions. That's what we're going to talk about. If you'd like to practice along, I'll be working some exercises out of a book called Mastering the Tables of Time, running pages 32 through 40, and I'll be at 61 beats per minute today. So let's see what these rhythmic inversions are all about. Okay, so what do I mean by rhythmic inversion? Basically, that's a fancy way of saying taking a rhythmic figure and moving it around in the measure so that it doesn't necessarily start on beat one. So the example that made me think of this today is uh, flam taps and tap flams. So a flam tap, just like you would think, two, three, four, one, two, three, Wow. It's the perfect example. I can't even explain it to you without thinking it over. So a flam tap, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So in its original configuration, the flams happen on the one and the three. Now a tap flam, Instead, you would start with the tap and put the flams on the two and the four like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. So it seems like a really small difference, but most of us without realizing it internalize the one in our head and we also generally tie it together with like the accent or the first way that you learn to figure like a paradiddle you're going to start with the one one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a like that but you could also start it on the double stroke one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and that's an inversion it's the same sticking but it starts in a different spot this can get surprisingly tricky. Your hands are doing the same thing that they've done in every other inversion, but if you just change the way that your mind is thinking about it and put the downbeat in a different spot, it can really play all kinds of heck with your technique and your playing and sort of everything. So I recommend practicing inversions because they're difficult and they sort of open your mind up to some eventual metric modulations and things like that. So uh, without talking a whole lot more about it, I'm gonna show you tap flams, which kind of look like tam flaps just inside out. And you'll see I'm having a weird amount of trouble with them, especially when I get into the 16th notes, moving into them from the eighth note triplets. That's what's been uh, the real struggle today. So let's do a little bit of playing. Let's see how this looks. All right, made it. 
That was actually easier than talking today. All right, that's gonna do it for day 131 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 131 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set, which just means I wanna freak out real good. Special thanks as always to my video producer, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media. Also shouts out today to Los Cabos Drumsticks. I'm in the 7A Red Hickory models. The Evans Real Feel Practice Pad. Thanks to that thing for always feeling real real. And AKG Microphones for sounding so nice. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me on Twitter at Dirty Bandana, on Mines also at Dirty Bandana, on Reddit username Dirty Bandana Drums, now on Instagram at Dirty Bandana, and finally if you want to get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project, head on over to DirtyBandana.com. That's a lot of internet. See y'all out there. See y'all next time. This is take two. Don't tell anybody. Recording, recording, recording. Recording the drum set thing too. Yeah, it doesn't get those.